Are you tired of getting PK'd? Well, today I'm gonna give you a couple tips that will help minimize uh, you getting PK'd in the dungeon or even the wilderness. Sit back, grab yourself a beer, and let's talk about it. Hail adventurers, Pwn Star here with Pwn Star Gaming. Guys, how are you today? As you guys already know, today's video is going to be all about PK avoidance. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that if you do all these tips, you will never die to PKs because obviously that's not true. Those of you guys that come and hang out every Wednesday and Saturday night at 8.30 Eastern know that I am no stranger to dying to PK. This does help minimize the risk, and if you're already doing them, congratulations. Tip number one, first thing I would suggest if you're a new player, definitely pick up tracking. Tracking is not only going to help with your damage to creatures, if you're a bard, help with the barding effects, but it is also going to allow you to track for reds, and the second you see a name pop up on your screen, you know it's time to either hit that moon gate or hit your rune book macro, which we're going to talk about next. So number two, as we just said, is if you're farming there in the wilderness. If you're farming in the wilderness, all you need to do is make sure that you have a default rune location in your rune book. And just simply open up your room book, go to whatever page it is that has the room that you want to be your default, and click set default. Now at this point in time, whenever you recall, it will automatically go to whatever default room it is. But we don't want to have to move our mouse over to the room book, open up the room book, and then go to the default location. Instead, what we want to do is we want to have a simple hotkey that we can press and it will automatically take us there almost instant. So what do we do? We go into our Razor program, then we're going to go over to Macros. Macros from there, we're going to go ahead and create a new macro and we're going to just record ourselves casting recall onto our room book. And voila, we're home and safe. So then stop the recorder, go on over here to the hotkeys, set it for a hotkey, and boom. Number three, you would think is self-explanatory, but they are arguably the most powerful things that you could ever have on your person as far as defense and especially PK defense. Potions. Once again, you're gonna have your healing potions, which is self-explanatory, it's gonna heal yourself. You're gonna have your cure potions, which is going to cure yourself from poison. And then you're also gonna want to have your refresh. And if you're really hardcore, grab a strength potion. You wanna do, once again, go into your hotkeys under the razor macro and set each one of those up how you would prefer them to be. Most important thing is you pop a strength potion the second you see a PK. This will increase your hit points, which is arguably very, very helpful. The next thing you wanna do is make sure you are ready to hit that heal potion, which will help with whatever dumps that they're doing on you as an instant heal on top of whatever other heals you've got going on, whether it's a bandage, mini heal, or greater heal. And then you'll have your cures. Now the refresh potions are very important in case they body block you or you get body blocked by some sort of monster or the ossuary maze. That place is never fun when a mummy captures you right in the hallway and you got a PK right behind you. The only thing you could do is pop a refresh potion or an adventurer rope, which is our next tip. Tip number four is an adventurer's rope. An adventurer's rope is just so helpful. Imagine a teleport spell that you can't interrupt from a dexer. It is extremely helpful and will help you get away in the stickiest of situations. If you're running away and you see a riverbed, teleport right over that bad boy. An adventurer's rope will also let you teleport right over that mummy that is blocking your way if you just used a refresh potion. Number five is trapped pouches. Now you can do this one of two ways. You can collect them from the mage vendor and you can just buy them already trapped or you can buy them from a provisioner and trap them yourself. Either way, the best thing you want to do is use those whenever you get paralyzed. Now, don't go over there and just double click on the bad boy. Instead, you want to once again go into your macros, set up a macro that says open bracket pouch. At this point, it will do one damage to you, thus breaking the paralyze. These right here at the cost of the PK's 20 mana and your cost of one hit point definitely puts you in the lead. Tip number six is going to be the toggle buff icon con gun. Now this one's very important. It's more of a maintenance thing, especially if you're a mage. What you want to do is you want to go into your options, 
you want to go to macros and then you want to create a new macro that is going to be where it shows your buffs now you can do this by setting up your macro button mine personally is f12 then click the drop down and you're going to see toggle buff icon gun once you do that just simply press it and make sure that that thing is somewhere where it's visible and you know that your magic reflect is down and you need to make sure you put it back up. Tip number seven is especially at the lower levels in this game, make sure you're farming near moon games. Your escape is going to be a lot easier if you just make sure that you have a quick escape plan no matter where you're at in the dungeon. You need to know exactly where every moon gate is and do your best to stay as close to it as possible. The last one that we're going to go over today is definitely make some friends and farm in groups. A PK is going to have a lot harder time dumping on two people versus one person. A lot of times, as you guys know, PKs will come in a couple people deep, not just themselves. And why not have a couple people deep yourself? It is a multiplayer game after all. For a lot of you guys, I understand this was just a simple review of different things you're already doing. Hopefully for some of you guys and all you newer guys out there, this was very helpful. If it was, make sure you hit that like button, hit the subscribe button as I do weekly content on this channel for Ultima Online Outlands. I also stream every Wednesday and Saturday night at 8.30 Eastern. Also guys, uh, thank you very much to the Patreons, all you guys out there, the channel members, the subscribers, all that. But uh, it's time for our beer of the day. I found this new one. It's a, I mean, Voodoo Ranger is not new, but it's a V2K IPA. See if you guys can see that. It says New Belgium IPA. That's kind of a new thing, I guess you could say. But um, either way, my horn is missing. Oh, it's back here. Sorry. And uh, we've got ourselves ready to pour. Let's go. Pour it in here. New Ranger's really good, so I bet you this one will be good. It's like tropical citrus. I don't know. Let's go. Ah, skull. 